Thousands of people are expected to hit the St. John's River, in fact, this morning, this morning and the rest of the day for Boater Skip Day. It's already started. It is the unofficial party holiday where people play hooky for a day on the water. Hopefully they officially um, turned in their sick form <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or their day off form. But who knows? News for Dex reporter Aaron Farrar is live this morning in Clay County. You know, Aaron, this is always a big deal. People want to go out, have a good time. You know, police also watching because they want everyone to play it safe because there's a lot of drinking on this day, too. That's a big thing. People, of course, want to have a good time on a day like this, but it's being safe while doing so. So one of the big things, at least this year, is to be aware of your surrounding, not only in the water, but also near the water as well. But it's been like clockwork here at Knights Marina here in Green Cove Springs. We've seen over the last two hours or so people getting their boats in the water, just like the boat that's sitting there now, boat to my right as well, that's about to be off into the water. And then taking a farther look at the people who are already in the water, heading off to wherever they're going for the time being out on the St. John. River, but boat ramps just like this one are expected to be really busy. We've already seen that today, and so the caution is to be aware of what you're doing and make sure you're looking out for other people who may be around you throughout the entire day. We already spoke to a couple of people who are doing what they say is called a party on the water. They are hosting a cool event out on the water today, and this is what they had to say about looking forward to their second year doing this out on the water for Border Skip Day, but also looking out for others. What is a day like this like? Sun, handshakes, high fives, good time. I'm seeing so many people together, like just that feeling of everybody being together. And this year I want to feel that feeling again and just be around everybody having that same passion for being on the water. So with that big passion and just having fun to be out on the water, there are some things that people should be aware of and consider doing. First is have what's called 360 degree awareness. That's just making sure everything around you you're aware of, whether that's on your boat or in the water, just if you're a boat operator, making sure that you are going to avoid hitting something that might be stationary in the water or someone that might be in the water as well. Some things to remember and consider. Have a life vest or a flotation device for every single person on each boat. Designate a sober boat operator or a bo uh, sober skipper. Stay hydrated today. It's going to be hot. Florida Fish and Wildlife also stressed the importance of being aware of your surroundings on the water, especially on a day like this when there's going to be so many people out on the water doing what you're doing. The FWC said back in 2023, there were 659 reported accidents, and nearly 30% of those incidents involved someone crashing into a stationary object. They said that happened mostly because either someone was not paying attention or the person operating the boat was inexperienced. As we give another live look this morning out at Knights Marina, people heading out into the water to have a good time. There have been people out on the water since as early as 6 o'clock this morning. So, of course, people are keeping all of those safety tips in mind, but they're also just wanting to have a fun experience out on the water with whoever they are, with family or friends, or some people maybe by themselves, but just experiencing a cool time out on the water today. We're live in Clay County. I'm Aaron Ferrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.